Checking in on the standings, by the way, uh, the Philadelphia Flyers have a tenuous hold over that third spot. The Washington Capitals are four points behind them. Wow. But they have two games in hand. What is so the their winning percentages are the same. What is the goal differential for the Caps? Oh, it's bad. Negative 31. That's unbelievable. Flyers, negative six. Wow. And the Islanders have really let me down because I thought that they were going to come charging in and they were having like a good old-fashioned mid-off with the Detroit Red Wings last night until Detroit said, okay, fine, we're going to win this game. Did we nail that division or what? Like before this season? I actually can't even. I don't think we did. Well, like, we, did. <laughs> we, we got it wrong with... I don't think we nailed anything. Well, okay. well we said they we were got the it wrong with the Flyers. Yeah. But we called it the Metropolitan. Dude. It is. It's the Rangers and Hurricanes. We thought the Devils would be good. Yeah. Got that wrong. I did, yeah. Yep. But I did. Who didn't? So, right. okay, the order, we completely fucked up. Yeah. But the quality of the division we nailed. Yeah. Uh, we, it's not a race anymore for that second wildcard spot because the Red Wings are going to get it because yep. Dylan Larkin exists again on hockey ice, scored two goals, and the team is nothing without Dylan Larkin. And now that he is healthy again and scoring two goals, they're going to be fine. And they're going to go on a little run here. Yeah, I saw Islanders fans last night going, Dylan Larkin has to come back tonight? Yeah, Why? they're going to be they're going to be fine. They got their mojo back. Yeah, you're right. Um, but I, the, the Washington Capitals still have that shot of passing Philly. Uh, can like, I just, that's still a thing. Can I just say that I, if you're a Carolina Hurricanes fan, congrats on your second round. Like, I hate... For what? I, well, because look, they're... Because, okay, assuming they don't beat the Rangers, it might be better for Carolina not to win the division <laughs> because they're playing Philadelphia or Washington. Yeah. And it's not that... They not kill, that they, they could. killed both of them. Listen, you can lose. Like, we saw the Blue, ja Blue Jackets beat Tampa. We saw it happen. Yeah. It does happen. Yeah. But my point is likely not to happen and you've got on that carolina hurricanes team way more experience than most of the players on the caps and the flyers now who haven't regularly been there like the the, the carolina hurricanes are a regular second round team you you need your goalie to save you a little bit in a series like that like sammy erson charlie Lindgren. charlie Lindgren. i'm gonna tell you right now i'm picking the flyers if they're in the playoffs yeah yeah because of Torts. I yeah. don't think... We've been burned be by Torts a few times. I don't think it's crazy. It won't be an enjoyable series at all. No. I think they can sneak out four wins against the Hurricanes. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. If it's the Caps, it, like if they're playing well, like this is all asterisks on when we get to the point of the season, but the, the Caps are playing well and the Hurricanes don't get the, like let's say they don't get the goaltending they need during that series. Like I could easily Yo, see the Flyers taking that. There is a... 58 goal differential between the Hurricanes and Flyers who are separated by one point in the, or sorry, one spot in the standings. They're separated by a Four lot points. more than Four they're points. separated by 25 points. Oh, 25. Um, yeah. Or no, they're not 15. I can't count. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm telling you, it's the Hurricanes, the Rangers, and nobody else. With the asterisk that I don't want to play a team coach. Man, can, can we exactly. Just, can we just scroll up a little bit, Jesse? Sure. The fact that the Panthers have only allowed 168 goals this year. Like, compare that to the Bruins, who are ahead of them with 197 I allowed, and the Leafs, who have allowed 215. <laughs> like, when you talk about what works in the playoffs when it's low event hockey, man, the Florida Panthers look scary on paper. They really do. Like that is that is exactly the goal for versus goals against. There is exactly what you need to win in the playoffs. Who has the most goals in the league? Is it the Leafs? I don't think so. I would check two fifty one. I would check the Oilers on that one. Oh yeah, you're right. Colorado, Colorado, Dallas, Dallas two fifty six. Toronto two fifty one. Not bad. Vancouver two forty five, uh, and Tampa two forty four. That's the top five. Wow. I mean Edmonton being there, considering how they started, Edmonton. Having surrendered fewer than 200 goals, considering how they started. It's crazy. Dude, they're so unreal. Yeah. So unreal. Goals against leaders. Uh, Winnipeg, 164. Panthers, 168. Ooh, Kings, 180. On Canucks, 187. Hurricanes, 187. Top five. Man. I will sleep on those Jets. They screwed me last night. There are there are some like... Who, who, in, in fantasy. Who'd you have? I, I picked up Laurent Brassois because I'm like, okay, the Devils stink. Uh, the Jets don't allow goals, and neither does Laurent Brassois, and they lost. What's wrong? Why are you shaking your head? What? What's wrong? <laughs> Listen, I don't play a lot of fantasy hockey because none of you will let me in your pools. Because I think it's because I did oh. so well at fantasy football, you guys. Oh, you yeah. Can't <laughs> handle it. You can't handle it. First year fantasy football already finished in the top three. Just throwing that out there.